Hi everybody. All right, so for today, I have a Dollar Tree haul. Now, this was probably a haul that's like maybe about two weeks worth of going to Dollar Tree. So let's get started. So I picked up some hooks because I needed to use these at work for various things. I've got this um, face mask extension lanyard. Now I don't know if this is gonna work with any of the face masks I have. I think the cords are a little too thick, but I plan on giving this to one of my friends. Hey cat, it's for you. I found this natural eyelash enhanced serum and I was a little curious about it because, um, well, you know, I've got Asian lashes and they're short. So I figure I'll give this a try. This is um, made with castor oil, which is what you're supposed to use if you wanna, I guess, enhance the growth. Sorry, I'm just moving my light here. Enhance the growth of your eyelashes. And since it already has a, the correct applicator to apply it, I figured I'd go ahead and um, try this out. So let's move that to the side. Now, the next following things are, are uh, things that I've been looking for at Dollar Tree and they finally got them in. These are wreath rings, okay? Now, I got a pack here of two, two pieces in a pack. These are the smaller ones and these are the eight inch um, wreath rings. Then I got the larger of the wreath rings that they carry which is the 14 inch, okay. And then I got these because I guess because it's Valentine's coming up, they got the heart one. I'll put any of these so you can actually see. Yeah, the heart ones and this is, doesn't say what size, but you can see against the 14 inch that they're pretty big. Now the reason why I bought those is because I plan on, um, making pom-pom wreaths. Now, I've been making pom-poms since 2019, but kind of hot off and on, you know, I mean, I wasn't really doing much with them other than making really small ones for the um, laminated traveler's notebooks that I, um, that I was making and selling at the various craft fairs. But since there's no craft fairs going on, I mean, they're just sitting there and I have all these pom-poms. So anyway, so I figured, I would use these pom-poms that I was making and I would make wreaths out of them. So this one is a pretty big, but I mean, I could still do it. I could just hot glue them because I do have some in various sizes, you know, and um, yeah, make a wreath out of it, right? So that's just one um, color scheme that I have here. I mean, these are actually all the ones that I have <laughs> in that one still need to make more. Of course, I do have some bigger ones, which would work really well with um, the 14 inch. So I have some here that I'd be able to put in on, um, on the wreaths, you know? And I don't know, I'd probably just give them away as gifts or I could sell them. I just will have to think about it because um, I will have to make a lot of pom-poms, but I have plenty of yarn to do it. And all the yarn that I have is almost the yarn that was like Clarence yarn. So next to what I have here are the um, window storage bags. Now these are from, yeah, they're from Dollar Tree, but they are different from the type of storage, like those totes that they have. Um, they are much, uh, would I say they're smaller? Yeah, they're a little bit smaller. So here's an example of it opened. Um, I had put my little craft, um, place stuff inside of it. Actually, I'm gonna move these because they are kind of in the way. So this is how big it opens up, okay? So as you can see, I mean, it holds a pretty good amount. And I like these because they have a handle, okay? It's the wax canvas. So they're not gonna like fall apart if there's nothing in it, you know? And it's really sturdy for Dollar Tree. This is really, really sturdy. So when I had bought these originally, I bought one, no, two. And then when I took it out of the package, when I got home, I was like, oh my God, these are great. I need to get more. So I went back and bought four more. So I have one that's the white and the black, and then I have mostly all black. But um, 
the, the two Dollar Trees that I'd gone to are already sold out of these, or maybe one of them didn't get them. So I'm still gonna hunt for a couple more, because, um, yeah, they're just really, really good quality. Okay. So next, I found this book. Um, it is Hello Tokyo by Ebony, B I don't know, Biz, I guess. And um, this one is 30 plus handmade projects and fun ideas for a cute Tokyo inspired lifestyle. And then who wouldn't want a cute Tokyo <laughs> inspired lifestyle? So I, you know, I always love going through their books because they always have such an eclectic amount of books. And this one, you know, I can't help it. It's just so cute. I love all of the different projects and stuff that she has in here. So, um, I haven't really gone through the book yet, but um, I will once I get some time. Then I also found this book, which is so pretty, Felt. 24 stylish projects to make with felt. I'm on the fence of whether to keep this or to give it to my niece um, because she is into making handicrafts now and she's got a little sewing machine. Um, that sews only felt with no needles. So I thought, you know, she could like eventually start making stuff from here. I mean, it is a little bit more advanced, but hey, you know, this might get her inspired to start to learn how to hand sew, you know, and make her own things. And I could encourage her to make it and she could sell it at the craft fairs when I sell my stuff. So I have that. Um, let's see. Got another bag here full of stuff. I bought these um, eucalyptus garlands. Okay, now the reason why I got that is because I figure once the pandemic's over and the craft fairs come back, especially if, if they do start coming back in the fall and we can start selling stuff again, I could use this, um, you know, as decoration on our table um, when we sell because it's really pretty. I like the look of the eucalyptus leaves. So I got two of them and it's five feet in length, okay? Then I got some resealable bags because you never know when you need them. There's 20 in a pack. Um, hilarious, I did get, I used to watch this a long time ago, um, Being Human on BBC, but they only had season three. So I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find season one and two, um, you know, at Dollar Tree. Um, I picked up this. It's the L'Oreal Extraordinary Clay Dry Shampoo. Um, I just thought I'd figure, I'd, I'd try it. It's a normal to oily hair, which is what I have, oily hair. Okay. Um, going back to crafts, the only other Valentine thing I picked up was the, these felt stickers that were um, cupcakes. I don't have anything like that. I try to avoid really just buying any kind of Valentine's um, craft stuff like that because I have so much now. But I don't have that, so in case I want to, I've got it. Um, I have this lip scrubber. It's a dollar. Why not? Um, I've been looking for these for a while and I only found them at one Dollar Tree here. It's the um, like the Happy Planner type um, disc bound um, note, notebook. Now they had the other, um, what do you call it? They had the other, you know, styles, but I liked, I like the green paper on the inside. So um, that's why I chose this instead. I'm gonna get this off. Get some. I don't even know where my scissors are. But anyways, yeah, so I got that. Um, and then the rest that I picked up are mostly stickers. Actually, there is more that I picked up that I have to um, pull it out of the bag. So I got <laughs> butterflies. So I'm always a sucker for butterflies. I got these like foiled um, stickers. I was like trying to think of what they're called other than stickers, but it just, I just couldn't think of it. Another version, different colors. Another version in different colors. Sorry. And another one. 
Um, I like the butterflies from Dollar Tree. They always have some nice ones there. And then I also got these. I've been looking for these, okay? I've only seen them at one Dollar Tree and I don't know why it's so hard to find. These are the 3D sticker bags. Now they had all of the different styles, but I was in such a hurry, I only grabbed three of them. Um, I've got the seashells, the gems, and the stars. I did see that they had lollipops and then there was something else and I, like I said, I just, I was in a hurry. I didn't have time to go and look at the rest of them because it was at the register and I was like the next person. So yeah, let me grab the last of what I have. And that's of course at the very bottom of the bag. Know if I've already shown this in a haul. I don't think I have. Okay, so I got some more of this fabric here. I sent Clarissa, her and Mia's corner here on YouTube, some of this uh, fox one, which she loved, and I got her another one. And then I got this one here with the rainbows and this sun. Um, some of the Dollar Trees here are now starting to put out the new craft reset, but they have all the boxes there, they're just not putting it out. And um, these I had already put out, so I picked them up. These are the, um, like the wood laser cut um, shaped, you know, pieces. And um, these look really good when you do, you know, like mixed media projects. Um, so I got those, cause they're kind of hard to find. You don't see them very often. And for a dollar, I mean, you get two pieces. So I don't know, I might go back and get some more. I got these, um, raised or enamel, I guess you could say, kind of like stickers. More floral, more raised stickers, floral. See, this is for, um, yeah, you know, if I'm gonna do like a beach kind of thing. Um, dragonflies, and this one is like their usual, you know, sticker, paper sticker ephemera. So I think that's it, yeah. That is all the stuff that I got from Dollar Tree. So, hope you guys are having a good week, weekend, depending on when you see this. And um, I'll be back again with another haul. All right, bye.